difference a day can make. In the uh, 60s this morning, the wind has completely switched the other direction. There's where I camped last night, right up in there. Little clouds and haze. I'm going to head to Little Sag. Hopefully the wind's not too strong. I don't have to pet go too long today. But. So last night was interesting. There was a beaver outside in the water right next to the campsite. And he plunked his tail about 2 o'clock in the morning. He's over and over and over. He did it for two hours. Just every time I just fall back asleep, plunk really loud. And I see some branches on the shore this morning, some freshly chewed birch branches. So he was busy. I don't know why he was kerplunking his tail so much, but anyway, still very humid, but pretty darn nice out here. It's about uh, 8.30. Try to get a little earlier start today. Some more to Little Sag Portage. Very well known. Been through here a long time ago. It's a, uh, I got a little stop right there, that log, because right there the current would uh, suck you down through the rapids. Kind of nice. Yeah, when I was here years ago with Becky, the water was very low, and I was able to walk across here. Yeah. It's like two feet wide or something. Not so much now. But uh oh got quite a quite a little step right here up this very sharp jagged rock. Unbelievable. But then you have this wonderful spot up here to set the gear down on. It works out pretty good. Just a 45 rod portage, and if I remember, it's a very scenic one. Well, that's quite a. Can't really see down there very well, but. Oh, yeah, very nice. this portage on my walk back to more and it's sharp incline and then a very very pretty little goat path right along the rapids with the big boulders Yeah, it's so very pretty. It's almost like somebody designed it this way.
There. Back to Mora. I just stopped quick on Little Sag to check out a campsite that looked really cool from the water. Really nice little fire grate area. <clears throat> but the cool part is this view here. This big uh, cliff shelf thing. Should have kept going last night. It's pretty amazing. Lots of rocks. Lots of nice open area. And there's a <clears throat> big rock dome back here behind it. I'm going to see if I can check it out quick. It's only 9.30 in the morning, so i got some time to kill today. Well, it's one o'clock on, what day is this, Tuesday, I guess, here on Little Sag. Took the campsite on that little island on the north side. Got an early start this morning, checked out a few campsites on the way, looked at stuff. I actually got out at one and walked around for a while. And then uh, I took my time and chose this one, mostly because of the view of the lake. Um, this is the site Becky and I stopped at years ago and had a lunch uh, on our way through Little Sag. Tent pad site right there. Filtering water. But it's quite a, a big bare piece of rock that's all in the open. Exactly opposite of the last site I was in. All this big sloping rock, lots of flat tabletops everywhere. This one I'm uh, cooking some lunch on right now, having a homemade rice enchilada meal. Try a Mexican for I haven't tried one of those before. We'll see. Got to you got to tip down these ultralight chairs, or they'll blow away in the wind like a kite. But big rock. Lots and lots of rocks. Not much for shade out here. Yeah, that was there when Becky and I were here years ago. Can't believe it. It was actually upside down before. It was curved upward. Yeah, we'll curve in it, pretty sure. Can't believe somebody could have flipped it, but somebody did, obviously. Keep going with a little tour. Uh, back here out of the wind is all kinds of open spaces in the shade temporarily in the shade anyway here's the tent temporarily in the sun but it'll be in the shade after a while later it's alright everything in there needed to air out a little bit anyway and dry off it's been so humid Pretty much 100% humidity, but it's not raining, put it that way, yesterday. But uh, this morning is much better. Probably the humidity is probably only in the 80% range. It's also only about 80 degrees, which helps too. One thing I didn't point out before, for future reference, keep a track of this island, a uh, cavity fire that came down here and 
burn the whole north shore of Little Sag here and some of the islands. Actually, uh, burned up here, skipped over this island, and burned over there. And burned all the way to Ecstasy Lake and around that area before it was finally stopped on Crooked Lake somewhere. Probably 10 years ago, when Becky and I stopped by here to have lunch once, passing through Little Sag, uh, we sat right up here, uh, right on this flat rock area, and cooked. Um, one of the, but I, I do remember there being shade, I remember there being trees, and just sitting here it kind of occurred to me what's going on in the last 10 years. This tree is obviously died, dried, rotted, and fell. This one is dead and is blown over and it's just laying there. The roots are still kind of attached. There's a little one right over here. That little guy, obviously, little cedar by the looks of it, is uh, been cut off and it's dead. It's gone, who knows. And then there was this jack pine right here. And it, I thought for the for a while, looking was, you know, maybe it must have been dead, some sort of hazard tree, something to that effect. Um, and obviously this is probably it. And I started looking at it, and yeah, sure enough, yeah, this is the same notch cut out as that. And uh, I got to looking over here, wait a second, there's some needles on those limbs. Um, can't tell by looking at this part of it. If I go back over here into the bushes and someone has drug one of the branches off this tree. Not only are there needles, there's green needles on it. Earlier this year or sometime, somebody cut this thing down. This a living tree. And looking at these, you can tell by these notches there on that tree, chopped with an axe, kind of you know, match the chop marks there on that branch. So this was a, a living jack pine here in this giant open site with no shade on it. There was one large tree growing in the middle and some cut it down. Go figure. I'm cooking some hamburger helper uh, bacon cheeseburger tonight. It's one of my favorite things out here. I'm using the alcohol stove. This is my hiking uh, cook kit I brought with for the week here. We'll see. It's been working pretty good. It's a little small. It takes it takes some getting used to, but here's my hand for reference. It's a 900 milliliter pot. Anyway, the um, with a with a fancy my fancy bud alcohol stove. But cooking that uh, again, bacon cheeseburger, hamburger helper uh, to go along with that. My favorite, one of my favorite things on is a little RV sauce right there. Should be good. But yeah, very quiet. Stove doesn't make any noise. It's pretty awesome.